Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and thank you again for joining me for another Clean Motivational. If you're new here, my name is Tasha and I put out a video out once a week. This video is going to be of my very neglected, very disgusting bathroom. It's my master bath, very small space, but is packed full of dirty, grimy things that need to be cleaned up. And I'm going to show you guys all the nitty gritty and all the deep details that I do in this bathroom. It took me about two full hours to fully deep clean and really focus on each little spot in this bathroom with giving the products time to sit and I also took the time to wash a lot of the products that were in here like my shower curtain, the mats, things like that and I also cleared the drains as well as deep cleaned every inch of this bathroom. So if you're really excited for content like this, give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet. And remember to hit that bell notification so you don't miss any future uploads. Let's go ahead and jump into this very deep, disgusting deep clean of my master bathroom. I am so excited to show you guys all the nitty gritty and show you the after of all the hard work that I put in for about two hours. neglectful I have been being with my bathtub it's got a nice disgusting ring it is completely clogged so all this soap residue has accumulated so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how clogged it is because it's real bad if it's like already filled up it takes forever to drain so what we're gonna do is remove the stopper on top. I'm gonna pull out whatever gunk's in there and I'm gonna pack it full of baking soda and pour vinegar on it and let it sit for about a half hour. And then while that's sitting and doing its thing, I'm gonna clean the rest of the bathroom and let that unclog and then we'll come back and do a real good deep clean because it is disgusting in here. I have been so neglectful of my bathroom. It's been the room that I just haven't done anything with. The water's finally drained. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and put her pull everything out of it. So I'll take you guys along for that disgustingness too. But now there's a window change. I never ever felt this way. Longing for you pick up the phone. Catching the flight, I'm coming home. Back to the place I've always known. Home, home. Seeing you soon, I got a run. We're gonna have a lot of fun. And spending this summer. Okay, trigger warning for anyone that hates stuff, disgusting stuff, go ahead and fast forward like five, 10 seconds and you won't have to see this, but I'm gonna go ahead and show anyone who likes to see the nitty gritty. In one, two, three, this is what came out. And now I can see down my drain, it's still very dirty and gummy, and disgusting, that's all the hair I got out. So now I'm gonna pack this full, or get all the stuff cleaned up, pack this full of um, baking soda and then pour vinegar in it, and then we'll let that sit for about a half hour. bubbles is just sitting in there fizzling. I packed it past the grate line inside and then I pack it on top of the grate line. So this vinegar is going to slowly bubble through here 
unclog my drain and also clean and sanitize at the same time. And hopefully these bubbles will help me to get some of this hard water buildup and nastiness that I've um, let build up. So if it stops fizzing and there's still a bunch of baking soda, I'll pour a little bit more vinegar on top. But for now, I'm gonna let it sit there and do its thing. When it came to cleaning my counters in my sink, I kind of did it in a three-part process. I started off by using Clorox wipes on the countertops because I have a lot of hairspray buildup and just makeup that's attached to it, like powder and things like that, So, and a lot, lots of hair in general. So I went ahead and just give a quick wipe down to kind of release all the stuff that was very on the surface with the Clorox wipes and give the sink a quick wipe down as well. And then with the sink, I'm gonna go ahead and use my blue and vinegar and give it a real good deep clean using my Rubbermaid Reveal tool and just make sure I get all of the nitty gritty, the hard water, all the toothpaste buildup, soap, makeup remover things, just all that nasty stuff that bathrooms tend to build up in. And then after that, I will do another wipe down of the counters and the sink using an all-purpose cleaner. And that's just to combat all that sticky hairspray and then just to also make sure it's very sanitized and very clean since these rooms tend to be rooms that we use for things that aren't very sanitary. the break of dawn empty hotel room just had to get up get dressed get out and get behind the wheel again i gotta see your face i miss you miss you i miss you Since we've moved in, this drain stopper has never worked. I have tried to reattach it to the little knob that's down in there and figure out how to make it work again, but I just can't. If you know of a way to make that drain attachment attach back into the rod that's inside that goes just like slightly up and down, let me know because I can't figure it out to save my life. We've been in this house this next January or this coming January will be two years and I've never had this drain stopper work. It's always been detached. It's never been able to clog the drain. So if you know the trick and want to teach me, please let me know in the comments down below. back on the right track yeah i want to feel you close to me but you're still far away i need you need you i need you oh. got a long way left but i'm gonna make it there tonight got my songs on the stereo been a long time coming but i know we're gonna be all right Got an 
I was cleaning the counters, I heard a gurgle, 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 and I noticed the whole top fell through. So I guess that means that my drain is finally fully unclogged. I'm gonna go ahead and pour some bacon or some vinegar down just to help break up the rest of that uh, bacon soda. It's not a pleasant smell, that's for sure. It might still be a little clogged since we're still getting some more stuff coming back. Pour us a tad bit more and then I'll leave it alone for the rest of time clean the bathroom until we come back. We should be good to go. I'm starting out using a microfiber cloth just to get most of that hair. A lot of it comes from my head, my dog, my cat, things like that. So I wanted to get rid of all the excess hair that's on top of my toilet um, with the microfiber cloth because the Clorox wipes will just kind of just smear it around. And then afterwards I use the Clorox wipe just to give it a good wipe down. And then at the foot of the toilet, like where the little spirally sides are that are really difficult to get hair and things out of, I do tend to get a lot of pet fur down there. So I'm gonna use all-purpose spray with a microfiber cloth. I know it's not like great to use microfiber cloths during dirty jobs like this, but I do sanitize and clean my cloth very well, so I don't worry about it that much. And it's just the bottom of the toilet. It's not like I'm sticking it in the toilet water and cleaning the toilet and then turning around and wiping it on my counter. You know what I mean? So please don't like cringe about it. I take care of my towels. I'm very, very, very detail oriented when it comes to cleaning. And if you've been with me for a while, I think you know that very well about me. I am very detail oriented when it comes to my cleaning. So I'm not trying to be unsanitary. It just, it's the best thing that worked for this moment with my toilet because I needed to get rid of a lot of that hair buildup. And then the toilet seat had so much hairspray buildup on it. It was the stickiest thing it's ever been. Like I had to keep checking the stickiness and all that and it just, I needed to get it off. So this was the best, me best method I could have used and that's what I went with.
This is where I keep a bar soap, so right here is where it always gets super scummy and nasty. But I'm gonna go ahead and give the whole thing a good clean and really focus on this to make sure this comes completely off and then just kind of, you know, clean it up so the whole bathroom is, you know, the deepest clean it can be. soaps that go in the tub and uh, give them a, a wash and wipe down real quick just with um, a rag that way I can put them back up and like if there was soaps come on it then 
it'll be off and I can put them all back and there's nothing gross in the shower. From a cloud above So bright I can see the lights Taking you up and above the blue sky Tastes good to be drinking all of the honey Sweet brew of ours Up, up in a painted cup Right in the sky like a firefly Like a firefly I believe I started to take a magic eraser to this um, The plug drain I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like gunky stuff. This is what was on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, clog my sink and, or, you know, try to plug it. I don't know how to get this plug to work anymore. I've tried like a hundred times, but I would, I might even try to plug it. I might just spray these down and this part down um, with some blue on vinegar and let it sit for a second. Um, so that I get the gunky stuff off because I don't want to put those back on dirty when it's, the tub's completely cleaned. So let's do that. And then after that, we'll be able to do the floors and call it good in here. To believe is to feel the fire grow within. I believe to believe is to see how the present comes from dreams. Up, up, up in a painted cup I will paraglide across the sky Let flowers and tiny hearts Shape in a line in the cup of ours So sweet like a honeybee Can buzz around a honey tree Up, up in a painted cup Right in the sky like a firefly mm, Like a firefly I believe to believe Okay, so just to recap, I'm gonna show this door, my dog's barking. Um, so just to recap real quick. My bathroom was heavily neglected and I had been putting it off for a long time. And I don't even know why I kept putting it off, I just did. And then once it got to the point where like, there was no return, I had to clean it. Um, when you're standing in a puddle of water at the bottom of your tub and it just like hits you like, you're gross, clean your bathtub. That's where it hit me. and. This time around, when it came to shower liners and stuff like that, I went ahead and not skimped on the cleaning. I didn't skimp on buying a shower liner. So far, I'm really liking this one. I just put it up. But as soon as I put it up, the magnets instantly clicked to my bathtub, which my last one didn't. I bought like a pretty cheap liner. Um, when we first moved here, we didn't have hard stuff coming yet. So we needed some shower liners. So I think I got them from like the Dollar Tree or Walmart for like a dollar or two dollars, something like that. This time I paid like eight or nine dollars for my shower liner and the magnets are fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys because it's really cool. So like, boom. Ah, oh, I love that sound. Like that's, that's why I always buy the ones with the magnets in them because it helps keep them closed. Not all that cold air isn't coming into your bathtub. But every time I buy them with the, the magnet in it, it's like it doesn't work anyway. So what's the point? But this one, all four magnets, I think there's four, maybe there's five. There's five magnets, two on each side at the ends, and there's three down the center. So now my shower curtain 
or my shower liner won't open at all while I'm showering because the magnets are going to hold now. So a $9 shower liner, totally worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and run down and check the dryer and see if my shower curtain is dry yet and my floor mat. And I'm going to change out the um, hand towels and then we'll be done in here. I really hope that this video motivated you guys. I know it was just a one room video, but this one was so neglected and so disgusting and needed such a deep clean that I wanted to dedicate a lot of time to it and then just put it out for you guys because I felt like that would be something you guys might get be more interested in rather than like a whole house clean or focusing on my main areas. Something truly disgusting, truly deep clean, and 100% real. All right, y'all. I want to thank you guys for reaching the end of this video. I really hope that it motivated you guys as well as helped to get you guys to know me more and know that I am not picture perfect and I have disgusting rooms as well. And if you need the motivation, you can always find it here. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet. And remember to hit that bell notification so you don't miss any future uploads. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. My love, my love